to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the stream cipher so till now we have learned about in the previous from the previous video i think from the 17th video we have learned what block cipher is and what are the design issues what are the design principles of block cipher and we have also learned what is a different block cipher algorithms we have and what are the different modes of block cipher operations of block cipher everything right so from now we are going to learn about stream cipher and stream cipher algorithms and so on okay so first let me tell you how stream cipher will actually work right and then we will be learning about the stream cipher algorithms so here in case of block cipher what you do you will be dividing the plain text into number of blocks right so here in case of streams instead of block you divide it into stream got it i'll explain you clearly with the help of a diagram don't worry so first you will have the key stream generator got it so from where the keys will be generated and here you have the plain text right so from here you will be getting the key and here you have the plain text so what you do is here you perform the xor operation and bit wise xor operation is performed bit wise in the sense bit to bit suppose you have 1001 this is the key size and the plain text is 1101 then the bit to wise that between this one and one between 0 and 0 between 0 and 1 1 and 1 so bit wise xor operation will be performed between the key and the plain text got it as a result you will be getting the cipher text once you get the cipher text this is the encryption part and this is the decryption part and you know what happens in the decryption part in the decryption part also you'll have the same key stream generator through which you will be getting the key and with the help of this key and the cipher text you will be generating the plain text that's all very simple okay got it so it performs bitwise xor operation bitwise xor is nothing but it will consider each and every bit one by one bit by bit it will consider got it so i have i have a you know sample not not example or diagram i i want to just explain yeah so this is the plain text right so m1 m2 n3 and so on up to mi will be your plain text and k1 k2 k3 and so on up to ki is your key you will be performing the xor operation between m1 and k1 you will be getting c1 between m2 and k2 you get c2 between m3 and k3 you get c3 like that bit to bit you will be performing xor operation and you'll be getting each and every bit of the cipher text like that cipher text is generated once the cipher text is generated next what you will do you will have to find out the plain text right in the decryption process so the decryption is same reverse that is cipher text c1 c2 c3 c4 and so on up to ci k1 k2 k3 k4 so on up to ki again you have to perform bitwise xor operation between the cipher text and the key then you will get the plain text p1 p2 p3 p4 so on up to pi got it so this is about the stream cipher uh, i will also give you an example so that you can have more clarity you know about xor right if both the values are different you will get true if the both the values are same you will get false that is wait so suppose let us take the plain text is 1100 and the key is 1011 okay now so this is key and this is plain text right so you perform the xor operation xor operation means what when both are different you get the true true is nothing but 1 0 and 1 both are different right so you get 1 again 0 and 1 both are different 1 1 and 0 both are different so 1 and 1 and 1 both are same so you get 0 here so this is the cipher text now using the cipher text and key you have to generate the plain text plain text is the same thing you have to get let us see if we will get the same thing or not So what is the cipher text? Zero one one one, and what is the key? One zero one one. So one and one, what do you get? Zero because both of them are same. Again one and one, zero because both of them are same. One and zero different, so one. Zero and one different, so one. One one zero zero. One one zero zero is our plain text. Okay. So you will be performing the bitwise XOR operation. XOR operation is very simple. If both of them are different, you will get the output as one. If both of them are same, you will get the output as zero. That's all. So this is all about the stream cipher. In the next video, I'll explain you about the stream cipher algorithm. whatever stream cipher algorithms what we have uh, we i'll explain about mostly rc4 algorithm okay and uh, then key distribution and so on will follow and thanks for watching the video till the end